Hello and welcome back to episode 18 of our Let's Play, where we attempt to go from non-league football to winning the Champions League. We're back with Blythe Spartans and we have had a fantastic start to the season, as you can see on this results page. We did see in the last episode the two first matches of the season, which were our 1-0 win against Chester and our one all draw against Darlington. And since then, we've been on a really, really good run of form. Highlights of that one, the 5-0 win against Boston United. We did have a draw and a loss in there but then we came back and won 6-2 against Biggles Wade which I believe was in the cup it is the FA Cup second qualifying round we then had a 6-0 win in the league as well our last match a 3-1 win against Kettering we've got two matches today then we've got a fourth qualifying FA Cup round against Gloucester who are in the league above us and then we're going to have a league match against Russell for you. Before we get to that though we do have some transfer news there is three more players coming to the club the first is Jacob Carney who is a goalkeeper he hasn't been doing too badly he hasn't been here very very long either so he's played a couple of matches his last stint was at Flyde which wasn't last season it was the season before he played 26 games and conceded 17 goals so he looked like he was going to be quite a good goalkeeper for us he started off pretty well we got him on a three um there's a reason we've got him which we'll get to in a minute we've also brought in Ruman Burnell to be our backup striker he's very very good as an advanced forward he did also score on his debut in his last match so he's so far one appearance one goal for the club he's only literally just come in and we've then got one signing for the future which is Billy Fouster or shall we say his name we're going to call him Fuster who's a midfielder with a little bit of potential he hasn't got quite as much potential as we hoped he would but he could be one we can make a profit on maybe we can develop into a decent player the reason we have signed a goalkeeper in the form of Carney is because Jake Turner who was our first choice goalkeeper obviously wanted to leave he's going to Preston we have managed to get I think it was £24,000 for him when he leaves for Pre Preston but he isn't leaving to the 1st of January at the moment no we've had to bring in a goalkeeper sort of preparing for that move so we've got someone who's built in with the squad dynamics and Carney looks like a very 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 good suitable replacement we're going to get over to that first game now against Gloucester in the FA Cup this is the team we are going to be using for that match against Gloucester. We've got Carney in goal, back four of Fraser, Benawan, Lawrence and Sharif. Brookwell, Fletcher, McKinnon in midfield. Clark on the left wing, Burgess on the right wing and Burnell up front. As you can see, maybe not quite exactly the team you would have seen in the last episode. That is because Magia, although very good for us, is on international duty with the Columbia under-23s. Hopefully we get a work permit for him based off of that as well. That might include increase our chance of getting it and Patrick Gamble who would be there ahead of Lawrence is injured he's out for another six weeks to three months um he had a fairly severe injury so unable to play and based on that injury Marcus Lawrence has been filling in for him in that center defense position and he's been doing quite well so far as always guys if you do enjoy today's episode please do drop a like down below it's always very very much appreciated and will really help the channel out with Gloucester being a, arguably a bigger side as well hopefully we can go get a good result here we've been on such a good run of form it's so different to last season obviously We've had a step down in quality in terms of the league. And I think maybe we have had a step up in terms of players that play for the club. And it's going to be interesting to see here how we do against a team that arguably, if we continue like this, we will be playing against next season. As I'm saying that at the moment, I mean, we're not getting battered, but we're not doing well either. And we have conceded a goal. It's Ben Nugent for Gloucester off of a corner, off of a free kick, sorry, wrong set piece, James off of a free kick there it's been pretty easily conceded it's just floated over the top for him to head home Carney doesn't get too close to it no one really challenging for the ball there demand more from the team we're definitely not in this tie at the moment needs to be doing better and it's another free kick from Casey the man who took it the first time this time it is swung in directly as a shot on goal I believe Carney made that save he did it is going to be a corner for them Casey again obviously their set piece specialist because he's taking another set piece here 
swung in we have managed to clear it this time and missing the pace there of Magia a little bit up front he scored a couple of goals so far this season that have just been big big oofs forward for him to run on to he's got some blistering pace at least against the plava players in the north league and he can beat the majority of them in a 100 meter sprint which is very very decent when you're a striker and you just need him to be chasing down those wayward balls that other strikers might not be able to get to we have got to half time here though i'm going to tell the team we do need to see a better performance going out into that second half because at the moment we are going to be out of the fa cup and we're not even going to do it on a particularly good display which is a bit worrying brookwell has just got injured as well which is less than ideal We're gonna have to take him off and i guess we bring on brown sword for him to play in that position actually do we do that i think actually we don't do that we put on sharif there and we bring on bird on that right hand side who's very very good for the club got himself a number of assists so far this season you go and get one today that'd be great to encourage the team here if we could see a highlight that didn't begin with casey on the ball i'd really appreciate it lads we almost there uh, regain possession we've instantly been depossessed via a tackle again by the gloucester I assume midfielder but by the Gloucester player either way and now they have just launched that one into the area it's a good touch from their striker there to maintain possession of the ball it's another cross into the box none of our players there very very lucky for us there it's hit the crossbar we are going to be able to clear this one out to Burgess who nods it forward but no one to run on to that one free kick here for us then McKinnon to take it's into the box Clark has got hold of this one now can he do anything with it he can't do a lot with it but he has been brought down in the box we don't have our main penalty taker which is Magia, our striker normally who's got very very good penalty rating but Fletcher is going to take this one in his absence can he get us back into the tie he can it's a good penalty there from Fletcher his second goal of the season He's been very, very good it's so far as well. Great signing. He's been basically an assist machine, but he's adding to his goal tally for the season here, bringing us back to 1-1, equalising against Gloucester. And we are back in it just about at the moment. We definitely need to be getting that second goal quite soon, though, if we do want to get anything out of this tie. There's some tired legs on the pitch. There's also some poor performances. Lawrence, whose praises I was singing at the start of this, has got a 6.1. So we're going to bring on Brown Sword for him. And we will be able to make another change in a minute. Jamie Clark, I think, is the guy who needs to come off now. We're going to take him off because he's not having a great performance either. Bring up Jacob Gratton on that left-hand side. Change him to an inside forward. If he could come on now, fresh as a daisy, and grab a goal for us, I would really, really appreciate it. I don't want to be out of the FA Cup just yet if we can help it. It is looking more and more likely that that is going to be the way things are going, though. 19 shots from Gloucester. We've come up against a bigger club, and we can feel it today. It's been an absolute walk in the park for most games this season, but not this one. Although they're getting yellow cards all over the place. Their discipline here is atrocious. And I don't know. I don't think we get extra time. I think we just end the tie here. Are we just going to end the tie? We do. We just end the tie. So I guess we're going to have a replay of that match, which is actually now <laughs> going to be the next match that we play. So it's been sort of pushed in there and Russia Olympic has been pushed back. I mean, we'll play that match and um, if anything interesting in it happens, I'll come back and show you, I guess. Well, we have about 15 odd minutes, maybe 20 odd minutes left to play against Gloucester in this second tie against them. So in the replay of the FA Cup, we are 1-0 up at the moment, but they have been absolutely plumbling us ever since we scored that goal right at the start of this half. That looked like a bit of a vicious tackle, though. Ben Radcliffe has been just sent off for Gloucester. That was a very, very harsh tackle there from him. That does put us in a probably better position than I was anticipating when I just hit record. And maybe we can see out this tie now. We've got one more substitution that we can make. And I guess we make that one now. Who do we bring on? Let's bring on Sam Bird for Sharif. Just shore up that defence a little bit. That's our third and final substitution for the side. 
We have got a free kick just outside the area as well. I'm not sure who it is taking it. Brookwell is the one taking it. He did score one a couple of goals a couple of games ago. He's just scored another one, putting us 2 0 up as well. Brookwell with a good free kick there in off the post. 2 0 for us on the evening. We're going to be going round into the first round of the FA Cup proper, where I think we'll be facing Warsaw, I saw, who are in the league uh above us league two i think they're in actually so an even bigger team than this bit of a i don't want to say money tie for us but there'll definitely be money involved can we get a third here fraser with a cross but it is blocked brookwell now to McHugh. back to brookwell mckinnon just outside the box gets it into richie holzer who scored the first goal this evening burrell burrell's put one away as well we are going to get our third it's completely onside, referee. I know you're sort of glancing over this way, but it is onside. Leave the boy alone. McKinnon look out to Richie Holzer. Just putting that one out wide to Bird for him to swing in and barrel hitting that one first time. Absolute power past the goalkeeper. As I said, when I hit record, I was expecting these last sort of 20 minutes to be a bit of a cagey affair where we went, oh, let's watch these bits and see if we can manage to keep ourselves ahead in the time we have just conceded but i think it'll be too late now for gloucester um as it's turned out we're gonna win by a couple of goals by the looks of it and it's been a bit easier than expected that red card definitely not helping him out there i don't know what radcliffe was thinking he was lunged in for that tackle no need for it you're only one nil down like you still got time to get back in this you ended up getting that one goal you needed it but because you've got sent off we've managed to go and score two more and we are as we can see going to face Walsall in the cup in november which is in a couple of weeks time and in game time now 12th currently in the sky bet league two a bit of a bigger side for us we're gonna now have a match in three days against what has turned out to be Spennymore and not the previously advertised team. Card is subject to change. So this is the team we'll be using for that match against Spennymore. We've got Carney remaining in goal. Fraser, Bedouin, Lawrence and Bird as our back four. Sharif, Fletcher and McKinnon in midfield. Grattan and Burgess on the wings. And Magia returning up front after his little stint on international duty. Obviously, we've done perfectly well without Magia, But I just think he's definitely probably the best player we've got at the club. But definitely the best striker we've got at the club. And when he isn't scoring goals, drops a little bit deeper. And he just manages to help set those goals up. So he's definitely the player we want in the side. Gratton here with a free kick into the box. Lawrence almost putting that one away. Lawrence back in the side after his fairly shoddy display against Gloucester. And hopefully he can regain a little bit of form here. And let's just hope he had a little bit of an off match. He's still pretty young. It was a big match for him, I guess. And uh, maybe that just affected him. Maybe he got nerves. A little bit sick in his stomach. These butterflies are doing much better today. Gratton there, though, with a great goal from outside the area. Apparently, it won't stand. How was he offside when he was all the way out here? Oh, he was offside. He was quite substantially offside. Never mind, ref. Um, I, I apologise. It was a really good finish other than that. It's really unfortunate that was offside because it was a good goal. We're on the attack again here, though. Into Magia in the box. Holding that one up. Back to Fraser now. Back to Magia. Can someone do something with it? It's got to Gratton. Burgess now has got the ball. Someone take a shot, lads. Magia. No one is taking a shot. Fraser finally does take one and it's over. That was a bit unfortunate. That seemed like a lot of messing around. I'm all for work it into the box, guys. But somebody's got to take a pop eventually, you know. It, 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 it's kind of never going to go in the back of the net. What's the, um, what's the phrase? Can't win the lottery if you don't buy a ticket kind of thing. Bizarrely, we are behind here on shots, which is not ideal. I'd like to be, you know... A little bit more in control of this game as it stands. Spennymore with a free kick here is cleared by our defenders though. Although Spennymore have managed to regain possession off that clearance. And now it's a cross into the box. Carney with a great save there. Brilliant reflex save from him. And I do want to ask the team here, guys. We're going to demand more because I don't feel like we're putting in full effort here. We looked great at the start of the match. We seem to now be letting Spennymore back into it. We need to go and score a goal and score a goal quickly. 
Fletcher spraying that one out to the wings to Gratton now. Passes it back to Fraser. It's a good one-two between the two players. Gratton now with space out on the left. He's pulled it back and that's just a poor pass. Not even anywhere near Fletcher as it ended up. Gratton there trying to help out with his mistake and make a tackle. Hasn't managed it. But now Spennymore have misplaced a pass of their own. It's got to Magia. McKinnon. Magia again. Burgess into the box. He kind of goes for a cross and it is blocked and cleared by Spennymore. All the way back to Lawrence in our half of the pitch. And we're going to build from there again. What is with the atrocious passes? There were two, one from each team there. Burgess with a shot from outside the area. That one's got to be on side, referee. It looks like it will be. It's a great curling finish there from Burgess. After a couple of shoddy passes, I mean, that one was shoddy from Fletcher, and then that one was shoddy from the Spennymore player to Sharif, just allowing Burgess in. He's seen the goalkeeper slightly, I guess, to the right, and managed to curl that one in to the bottom corner on the left-hand side. It's a really, really good goal. I don't know if we fully deserve it, given our stats at the moment, but we're 100% going to take it. We'll let the team know that they are having a decent display in half time. I think we could be having a better display than we are, but we are ahead, and that is kind of what matters. Belawan there, just massive clearance. Belawan, have you never watched one of my YouTube videos? We do not do massive clearances at this club. Come on now. All we ever do when we do that is lose possession, and what has happened... Barrett has managed to get a big cross into the box there. And if it wasn't for the really safe heart hands there of Carney, we would have conceded. We have managed to avoid that though. And we are still 1-0 up with 60 minutes gone on the clock. Gratton on that left-hand side is looking pretty tired. As is Bellawan, as is Fraser. We've got a lot of tired players on the pitch. I think it is definitely time for some changes to the personnel. we we'll take off Gratton first of all, because he was the first one to be tired. We're going to bring on Richie Holzer, who's not ideal on that side, but I think he is our best option over there at the moment. And then from there, I guess we take off Fraser and bring on Jake Leak as well. We will have one more substitution, which we'll make in a second, we'll just let a little bit more time run down on the cock. Bellowan over to Sharif now. Magia's managed to get the ball. He's passed that one for Burgess to run onto. He has managed it. He's held up the ball and he's just tackled. That's a couple of times we've seen that today. But they've managed to pass it forward. But then haven't done anything with it quick enough. Fletcher though. Now we have got another chance here. Burgess out to Bird on that right-hand side. Bird cuts it back to McKinnon. Our deep line playmaker into Sharif again. Fletcher Burgess trying for his second goal, not managing it that time. Not as good an effort as his first, but a good effort nonetheless. And we're going to make that last substitution now. Who do we bring on? I'm thinking we take off Fletcher, bring on Harry McHugh for the last sort of 10 minutes of this match. Hopefully we can see this one out now with us being 1-0 ahead and uh, remain at the top of the league. It would put us two points clear at the top. It does put us two points clear at the top. We'll see the... Uh, we actually see the league table now the match is finished. Instead, I was trying to tell you in the middle of the game. I, I don't know how me going, that was a good display, has somehow demotivated Burgess. But never mind. We are two points clear at the top of the league with a game in hand on second and third place. So we are well secure up in that top spot currently, which is exactly what we wanted. I deal start in this league and hopefully we can just keep up that good form all the way through to tomorrow's episode if you have enjoyed today's video please do drop a big like down below it does really really help out with the youtube algorithm and all of that lovely stuff and it will always be very much appreciated if you have enjoyed today's video, why not subscribe as well if you haven't already and you can watch along with all the rest of this series as it happens. And if you can't wait until tomorrow and you have to have some more content right now, why not have a look at this video next?